Hey, it's the Midnight Raven, and welcome to my channel. I am the Midnight Raven, and I usually go around the market on a Saturday in Scotland, where I live. And today, I stumbled on a new um, seller who makes handmade soaps, as well as various other items. And we got to chatting, and I bought some of her products. She also gave me a freebie of one of my favourite ones that I smell. Um, but yeah. Basically, you can go to her stall, she'll give you a glove, you can smell all the products and everything, handle them, smell them. And this is her card. So this is the Sea Green Soap. It's pure green natural, traditional handmade cold pressed kelp soap and soap bars, kind to your skin and the environment. So there's their website. I will put that in the link down below. And we got chatting for absolutely ages. Um, and I bought a few items. So when you buy the soap, uh, you don't just buy like a standard bar. The soaps come in different sizes and they are they are weighed. So depending on how big the soap is, um, anything from a small soap can be sort of one pound to I think she said two fifty, and then the more bigger ones. If you end up with a full size soap, it can be around four pounds fifty. I think she said like the max. So in here. We've got a bunch of soaps, so let me show you the ones that I bought, and then I'll show you the one she gave me at the end. So this is the Green Gardener's Cleansing Soap, so they come in all different sizes. So here's the first one, and it looks like this, 100% natural, she hand makes all of these herself. So this is traditional made in Norfolk. And this has got organic olive oil, sea kelp, sea clay, natural essential oils and botanicals. It's also vegan friendly, no plastics, no paraffins, um, no probanes, 100% recyclable packaging, um, external use only, only test on humans and patch tests before use, may contain traces of nuts. It smells absolutely divine. So this is obviously um, an acquired taste when it comes to soaps, um, but that one is so fragrant. I know you can't smell it, but we're going to say that's really fragrant. Okay, the next one was a bit different, and this is fennel and nettle. So I've never heard of putting nettle in a thing. So each of them are organic oil, sea kelp, sea clay. And then the other bits are then added into the soap. So each of the soaps will have the olive oil in and the sea kelp. And then the other essences are then added. Oh, this one is really nice. So this is fennel and nettle. So I've never used fennel or nettle in any beauty product or any bath product. But it smells so good. And the fact that these are all handmade as well. So most of these bars that were sort of this size were like £1.50, which I don't think is that bad a bar size. Um, mainly, I pick them up to sort of test them, and then if I like them, I'm going to go back and obviously I will buy some more and support a local business. You got that one. <clears throat> what else did we pick up? Then we picked up this one, which is a peppermint and rosemary uh, shampoo bar. So this was a bit different to this one. So these are soaps for like for your hand. Um, and this one, the fennel one is a moisturising. And the gardener's one is a cleansing. This was a soap bar. So this is a shampoo bar. And what you do is you put it under the water and you just rub your hands on it and it creates like a foam and then you wash your hair with it. So this is peppermint and rosemary. And it really does smell very strong of peppermint. I'm not sure if I can smell the rosemary as much. So this again is organic olive oil, sea kelp, sea clay. Same thing. It's just, um, it's a traditional recipe cold press soap as well. Um, and then the oil is obviously added um, for the peppermint. And then you've got the rosemary which is added in as well. Smells absolutely divine. Um, I can't remember how much this was. Each of them were different prices um, based on 
how big they were. And this one is sea oak and verbena, and this is the moisturising soap. We've gone back to soaps for your hands and face. Oh, and you can definitely smell the verbena in there. It's got like a like a very pungent kind of floral. But then you've got the edge of the sea oak, which gives it like that fresh smell. And it smells absolutely divine. It smells absolutely divine. Really nice. Again, um, everything is made with the, the the clay and everything and then it's um it's all added and uh, not clay yeah sea clay and then it's all added with the other bits this one is juniper and hops moisturizing bar i think this was the most expensive bar i bought because she didn't have any smaller sizes and I think this one ended up being like, I think it was £3.50 for the size of it. And this was the Juniper and Hops Moisturising Soap. So again, um, I was going more for the soaps than the bars for the shampoo. But this is really cool. You can smell the juniper in it. It's not overly pungent. People do assume that organic... Um, stuff is like overly bearing and and just has like an awful smell because it's not made with certain things but on the packet you get all your description of what's in it that it's um got no palm oil no plastics and everything and it uh gives you everything um that it has so that you know and it all comes on this little sheet and then um here it tells you everything you need to know that it's got shea butter in it, that it's got aqua, that it's got beer, sodium and everything. You've got a full list of the ingredients there. And then these are the base ingredients to make the, the soap. So I've got that one. So after buying all of that, it came to £10, which for five bars, I don't think is that bad. And this one was obviously what I call nearly a full size bar. And that was the Juniper and Hops Moisturising. You have the Green Gardener's Cleansing Soap, which was, uh, I think it was £1.50. The Moisturising Soap um, with Fennel and Nettle. Then you've got the Peppermint and Rosemary Shampoo Bar, which was the only shampoo bar I actually picked up. And then you've got the Sea Oak and the Vabrina, Vabina Moisturising Soap. And then... Um, she gave me this one for nothing because I was going to show these on social media. So I have received a free item. I'm not sponsored or anything. It's just a free item to show you. And this is the Norfolk Lavender Moisturising Soap. This was the first one I gravitated to because if you're not new to my channel, you know I love lavender, French lavender, English lavender. And it just smells so aromatic so floral so aromatic i love lavender in everything candles bath bombs wax melts soaps oh, so good. and this one was actually gifted to me this little bar here so this bar is probably about one pound fifty worth was gifted to me um because i was going to show these on social media i did mention i was an influencer and to be fair she offered me the free soap before i bought anything um, she said she'd give me this to show on social media and I said no 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 I'm going to buy some bits as well um, I don't just take free items without buying something as well because I feel that's wrong I've always bought an item when I've been given a freebie um, to showcase their stuff because I don't just go around saying I'm an influencer to get free stuff I actually do want to promote small business and independent businesses so that's the free one that I got that was about £1.50 worth and that is moisturising soap. So I think this is an amazing company. The woman was so passionate about what she does. Um, so they do everything from moisturising soap. They do the shampoo bars. And they do a lot of other products uh, that I didn't even get around to looking at. Because I had so much to do today. Um, and I was spending so much money. 
Um, so all in all, the five the, the five soaps that I personally bought that added up to ten pounds, and that is a bargain price. I think it was like nine pounds eighty. Um, absolutely amazing. Obviously, if you buy the bigger bars and you buy like the biggest one that I have here, this I think was either three fifty or four fifty. So depending on how big a bars you want. Obviously, the more money you'll pay and the smaller bars start, I think she said, from like £1.50. So, if you want to check out Sea Green Soap, I will link their social media. Uh, I'll link their website and everything. Um, I don't know if she's on Instagram or anything like that. I will check the website and if she is, I will link that all down below. Um, but, yeah, this is natural, holistic, clean, green, traditional, handcrafted cold pressed kelp soap and shampoo bars i think it's amazing the lady was really nice i didn't think to ask her name should have done also it comes in this little bag so everything is eco-friendly everything is recyclable so nothing is wasted none of those nasty carrier bags and none of the nasty um non-recyclable items so there we go that is um sea green soap um, if you want to check them out, I'll put the link to their website down below. If you do buy from them, recommend that you bought them from a YouTuber in Swatham called Midnight Raven. Mention my name, um, so it helps me a little. Um, but yeah, hopefully these will sell really well. Like I said, I'm not sponsored or affiliated, but she did gift me a soap. And she was going to gift me the soap before I bought anything. But my conscience will let, not let me take freebies. I have to buy something as well. And I've done that from every store I think I've ever got anything from. I don't just take stuff. I'm an influencer, yes. And it does help them. And it does help me. So why not help their store by buying something and them help you by giving you a freebie? So it's a win-win for both people. So if you want to see more from me, I am The Midnight Raven. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. Give us a big thumbs up. If you want to support the channel, remember PayPal, Super Chat, or a membership. Every penny goes back into my channel and I like to go around helping independent local traders and I will see you very soon for another video. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye guys.